push the kids to be doing what they want to do and not just be like be using the time that is given to build something that you're going to be proud of that you're actually going to be like excited to present to everybody i would say um more time like more days a week sort of helping us with time man time management like towards the end my teacher met with me and we sort of like planned out a calendar of what we're going to do in the next like week but i think it'd be easier if we did that um in if they started in the beginning so you wouldn't like so you'd get an idea of how much you're having to do a week mm -hmm. um to get it done well i would change that like you shouldn't do food because when you do food a lot of people just go to yours and like not many other people go to other people's so that's well because not a lot of people came into mine i kind of knew what I wanted to do, so maybe like people who knew what they wanted to do could have started instead of spending two, I think we spent two or three weeks on like figuring out what we did, and like that sounds like a long time, but it was like just, a, it was a few hours because we only have it on Friday. I think it's like an hour and 45 minutes, maybe. So it was a, it was a decent amount of time, but it was a lot of like brainstorming and then the teachers talking about like past passion projects and like it's like it's your project, so you can it was just a lot of talking and less doing. So maybe more like for the people who know what they want to do, let them start and then yeah. It was a good ratio of like freedom and choice, so this is how we want you to plan it. And it kind of just, I think, I don't think I would change anything or want anything to be changed, so.